the JVM, JRE, and JDK. As a Java developer, you hear J acronyms pretty much all day, every day, but these are the three main ones you'll definitely be expected to know. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what all three of them are, what they do, and how they fit together in this J-filled world of Java. My name's John, and I'm a lead Java software engineer. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description. There you'll find over eight hours of exclusive videos covering dozens of Java topics. So if you haven't yet, go and check it out. Let's just get right to it and go through these one at a time. First, the JRE. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Basically, if all you ever want to do is just run Java programs on your computer and you never need to create or modify a Java program, you'll want to install the JRE to do that. The Java Runtime Environment contains everything you need to run a Java program on your computer. And that includes a couple of main things. It includes the Java Standard Library, which is basically just a bunch of helper classes and files that all Java programs use to do what they need to do. So that would include things like all the classes in the java.lang package, like string, math, exception, and throwable, and even the object class, which is the root of all other Java classes. It has java.util for things like lists and sets and maps, java.io for all kinds of input and output, java.sql for interacting with databases, and tons more. They're all built in right there as a part of the JRE. The other very important part of the JRE is another one of our J acronyms, the JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. The Java Virtual Machine is simply responsible for executing a Java program. It loads up all the bytecode from your .class files that you generated by compiling your .java files. It loads all of them up into memory and runs your program. Now that sounds pretty simple, but what's cool about that is all the hidden stuff that it does behind the scenes to help your program run smoothly that you never even need to be aware of. So for example, it makes sure that your program runs great on whatever platform it's running on, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, whatever, without you having to make any changes to your program. It handles memory and garbage collection automatically. It manages multi-threading if your program uses it. It does some built-in security checks. So all you really need to know is that the JVM is what's responsible for loading up your program into memory and executing it. So the JRE includes those two things, the JVM and the Java standard library. With those two things, the JRE can run any program that you give it. The JVM will take your Java program, marry it with all the classes and things from the Java standard library that it needs in order to do its job, and then it'll run your program like a champ. However, if you want to actually be able to create Java programs, which I hope many of you do, you'll have to step it up a bit to the biggest and baddest J acronym, the JDK. The JDK is the Java Development Kit, and the Java Development Kit is exactly what it sounds like. The JDK includes everything that you need to create, modify, compile, debug, test, and run Java programs. If you have ever done any Java development in your life, then you installed a JDK to make that happen. So that of course means that it comes with the JRE as a part of it, including the JVM within the JRE so that you can actually run your Java programs. But of course it comes with so much more, one of which is Java C, the Java compiler. As you probably know, you can enter the Java C command to compile your .java files into .class files. And the compiler that does that is part of the JDK. And do you remember all those Java standard libraries that came with the JRE that we talked about? Well, with the JDK, you'll also get the source code of all those libraries. So you can dig around in the actual source code to see how things work if you want. The JDK also has a debugger, so you can walk through your code step by step and see what's going on. It has a variety of different monitoring tools like JConsole, tools for creating and managing jar files. So all your Java code scattered across a whole bunch of different classes can be bundled into one file to be distributed. And a whole bunch of other things that help you create, test, and use your Java programs. There's so much that honestly, there are plenty of parts of the JDK that I have never had to use. Someday when I end up needing it, it'll be there. So overall, the JDK has everything that you need to create, modify, test, debug, and run your Java programs. The JRE is a part of the JDK that allows you just to run your Java programs. And that includes the Java standard library and the JVM. And the JVM is what 
takes your Java programs class files and all the Java standard library class files and loads them up into memory and executes your program. As always, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, please let me know by leaving a like and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss each new video. And if not, let me know by leaving a dislike and be sure to tell me how I'm wrong and how terrible I am in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here with me. And I'll see you next time.